be here. The Did You Know Gaming on Little Big Planet. Piranha Plants featuring Piranha Plants stuff. Little Big Planet. So, about Little Big Planet, there used to be a bunch of these stuff where you couldn't do anything at all in the early version. But however, we do have a lot of plenty of stuff now. But did you know that there was early versions of the game on Little Big Planet? In 2006 and 1st of January, they, they created a Yellowhead prototype version, which is very different than the Little Big Planet 2 or 1 or whatever, etc. But, did you know that it was also programmed in that level? It was just one level in this. So, that means that it was only version with the Yellowhead costume. And, for this new game, Tear Away! It's an Easter egg, by the way. Um, so, they also invented this game where Alex Evans invented a new game, Game City 3, 2, and 1. They made all of them, but it's not yet available. It's just an early version of a 2D. And they also have this poster here. It's... Like, think, with unique visual style, and Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, which crossed with the Grimm's fairy tale. In the fairly urgent game, which was sent by IGN, um, we also made, they used to have 3D to move objects, but you cannot move 3D, but however, you can do it in the new game, Little Planet 3. Now, you can still do that in Little Planet 3, that's why they got the name of Little Planet. There are three early versions of the game, like, such as this little, like, you know, did you know that you would only have to jump on the power-ups that that sack was trying to do? That's how you would use the power-ups. And it was also community online and made for game videos, which is a famous gaming video channel. And did you know that also, that you cannot... You can also change your material, but it was a different poppet style. And did you know that it will also leave you right where you were? So that's for the early version. And they had the strange glow poppet thing. And it's voiced by Antonio Banderas. And it is an early, another early version of the prototype. If you know Antonio Banderas, you will know. That's a, that's a different narrator. So... On with those, they used to have these spongy bubbles that they used to have, and they also used to have this purple one. That it was a mystery, as you can see. Well, you can't yet. Yes, here you go. The purple one, that was a secret one. You got the game, the early versions, and then... They don't have it now, in the now of the planet, but they do used to have it in the early version. Like, there's the song that used to stop Little Planet. Every soul shall have a taste of death, and all that is on earth will perish. Which is Tapit Nyong by Little Planet 1. And, however, they removed the lyrics, by the way. Um, they used to have yellow head, of course. And now they changed it to a playable costume. And 2D, or not 2D. And they used to have all these posters. And, you know, yeah. So, yeah, they used to have... All this featuring a chicken costume, Katamari, which is that one, and Mario. Well, they don't have, they used to have a DLC in the early version, but they don't. They used to have all those DLCs, which is made out of real portrait. Okay, there are a few early backgrounds from the beta of 2008's Little Big Planet 1. Russian Theater, American Windows Chain, Japanese Window, and English Seaside. Which used to be all those four would represent... Like, this music pack, MM Music Pack 1, like, oh, come, yeah, there. And Monster Sticker and Costumes, I forgot that. And, Gal Party or Russian Theater, or Ghoul Party. Well Trained, American Research Train, Wise Owl for Japanese Window, and Tea by the Sea by English Seaside, which makes plenty of sense. So, yeah, as you can see, that's the background of, I think, English Seaside, yeah. So, there are a few early developments of the game, Little Big Planet 1 still, but they, however, removed it. The ice material that used to be in the 2008's Little Big Planet beta, however, they removed it because it used to load throughout the game when you were playing. And, yeah, that's why the creator, M.M., like, 
just removed it. Okay, so they used to have different, well, the same controls, but they used to have, like, the same remote as well. And the box is just like PS Vita and PS PlayStation Portable. However, you can make a lava material and all, and they used to have diagonal number numbers, and they used to have these bunch of stickers that people might glitch out. There's a picture of a developer's head and a character from Flubber, which is the green Flubber thing or whatever. And they also used to have this when they used to color when they develop new stickers and old ones. There's a bunch of them from the typing key. And did you know that they used to have a concept art, which is a different pod, and they used to have a different poppet, which is removed. And the pewter, they used to call it the, con the, the pewter, and they used to have the info fridge. The, however, they removed it for several reasons, which I cannot explain. So, they didn't really like the idea of an info fridge. However, I like the idea. <sighs> There are two Easter eggs in the game. There's a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger from the movie Total Recall. He's a closer look. And it's only showable in the Little Planet 1, according to this little creature from the Painter how to reach it in Little Planet 1 as well. Of course, all of them is from the tree, the famous tree, a spring with a nail on it, and then a weird little skyscraper or whatever a stick and a little creature which looks like a 3d model and this weird goose flat which isn't green it's just white and it's a 3d model again so of course it was not in the original game like we have now so they used to have paintings different paintings and this thing with his name position x a footprint a strange one and a little earth and water and an old castle, which is a little bit planet like, and then there's this arrow thing. They, these used to be all the elements. That used to be the string, but however, they used the string instead. Instead of that little shoelace. There's two stickers that weren't used an ice cream truck and this. However, I have it from a glitched reach. So, there's a costume contest 2009 costumes and this rosette. However, the B and the C prop and the movie director were just like, you know, you know, they were actually, the B was made from a 2009 contest in Little Big Planet 1. C prop, you can get it in the PlayStation Store, which some people have. And the movie director, which you can unlock in Little Big Planet 3's glitch. So let's continue. Here's the temples. Um,. You can subscribe to Digital Gaming and subscribe and subscribe to Planet of Punk Stuff. And you can get all their facts. And check out Nintendo 64 Digital Gaming. And use their Facebook and Twitter. And subscribe. And check out Glitchmaster's cool LBB2 pod glitch, which is a little bit more complicated than before. And I thank Glitchmaster7 for all the early developments and Little Big Di Dill or whatever and Little Big Tea Trees for all the information. Subscribe for Piranha Plant stuff and more.